Hello, Christ is in our midst. I'm Father Kevin Long of St. Elias, St. Eurocon Orthodox Church in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. Today is Sunday, January 30th, 2022, and here are the readings for today. Brethren, remember your leaders, those who spoke to you the word of God, and consider the outcome of their lives. Imitate their faith. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Do not be led away by diverse and strange teachings, for it is well that the heart be strengthened by grace, not by foods which have not benefit, benefited their adherents. We have an altar from which those who serve the tent have no right to eat. For the bodies of those animals whose blood is brought into the sanctuary by the high priest as a sacrifice for sin are burned outside the camp. So Jesus also suffered outside the gate in order to sanctify the people through his own blood. Therefore let us go forth to him outside the camp and bear the abuse he endured. For here we have no lasting city, but we seek the city which is to come. Through him, then, let us continually offer up a sacrifice of praise to God, that is, the fruit of lips that acknowledge his name. Do not neglect to do good and to share what you have, for such sacrifices are pleasing to God. And today's gospel reading is from the Gospel of St. Luke, chapter 19, verses 1 through 10. At that time, Jesus was passing through Jericho, and there was a man named Zacchaeus, and he was chief tax collector and rich. And he sought to see Jesus, who Jesus was, but he could not on account of the crowd, because he was small of stature. So he ran on ahead and climbed up into a sycamore tree to see him, for he was about to pass that way. And when Jesus came to the place, he looked up and said to him, Zacchaeus, make haste and come down, for I must stay at your house today. So he made haste and came down and received him joyfully. And when they saw it, they all murmured, He has gone in to be the guest of a man who is a sinner. And Zacchaeus stood up and said to the Lord, Behold, Lord, half of my goods I give to the poor. And if I have defrauded anyone of anything, I restore it fourfold. And Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house, since he is also a son of Abraham. For the Son of Man came to seek and to save the lost. Glory to thee, our God. Glory to thee. So today, continuing on with the readings from the prayers, or the prologue of Okhrid, from St. Nikolai Velomirovich, the hymn of praise today is dedicated to the three hierarchs, St. Basil, St. Gregory, and St. John Chrysostom. Faith and fasting, Basil, theology, Gregory, acts of charity, Chrysostom, Golden mouths, mouths of honey, all laborers of one work, three separately, three angels, three together as God is one. No one is the main one, no one is secondary. In eternity they all agree. You invoke one, all three help. You him one, all three hear. You glorify one, all three rejoice. Three men, one whole, three hierarchs, one deed. Three names, one glory. To all three of them, Christ is the head. In today's reflection, here is an example of how emperors seek counsel from the saints and how the saints avoid vanity and riches and how they counsel emperors. The Orthodox Bulgarian Tsar Peter set off with his retinue towards the Ryla Mountains, driven by the insatiable desire to see St. John of Ryla and to benefit from his instruction. The Tsar sent men ahead to inform the saint of his arrival, but the saint did not agree to meet with the Tsar. The saddened Tsar again sent some men with foodstuffs and an ample amount of gold, as well as a petition requesting the saint to write some counsel for him. John accepted the edible things, but returned the gold, not even wanting to touch it, and replied to the Tsar, If you desire the heavenly kingdom, be merciful, as the heavenly Father is merciful, and do not trust in injustice, and do not be covetous, be meek, quiet, and be accessible to everyone. Do not accept praises from your noblemen, Let your purple road radiate with many virtues. May the remembrance of death never depart from your soul. Humble yourself before the feet of the Mother Church. Bow down your head 
before her prime hierarchs, so that the king of kings, seeing your sincerity, rewards you with goodness in such, such as has never entered into the heart of man. Receiving the letter, the Tsar kissed it, and after that read it frequently. In today's contemplation, to contemplate the Lord Jesus as a friend of children. First, as a friend of the angels in heaven who, like children, are innocent, obedient, and without passions. Second, as a friend of the little children on earth who easily and simply believe in God. Finally, as a friend of the saints who by labor and grace are purified from sin and become innocent as children. And may God bless you and those that you love today and always. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Thank you very much for joining me today. Hope you have a great day. And God willing, we'll see you tomorrow.